Another major retailer making waves tonight, Walmart changing up its greeter position. Now those people who welcome you with a smile will have to be able to do a little heavy lifting too. And as News 5's Taylor DeHaze tells us, that has many wondering what will happen to the greeters who may not be able to fill this new role. The announcement came earlier this week and talking with folks here, well, it came as quite the surprise and quite frankly, folks in Chardon weren't too happy to hear the news. I think it sucks. Shopper Tabitha Mays has a disability herself and understands how hard it is to find work. Especially for me, first of all, it takes away jobs from people who really need it and they want to gain independence. When she walks into any Walmart, she's likely greeted with a warm smile and even some assistance. They helped me to get me the little driving cart so I don't have to look around and find one. It's been the way of the big box retailer since the 1980s, but now the duties are changing at the end of April and that friendly face welcoming her might be out of a job, going from receipt checking to heavy lifting. A Walmart spokesperson says some disabled greeters will be replaced by what they're calling customer hosts with the added requirements such as climbing a ladder, standing for long periods, and being able to lift 25 pounds. I don't think I've ever had to see a greeter lift anything. You know, really, is there to greet people. There have been at least three complaints to the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission and a federal lawsuit in Utah, claiming discrimination under the Americans with Disabilities Act. The law states employers must provide reasonable accommodation to workers with disabilities. I think it's entirely unfair and that everyone should have a chance no matter what. I mean, they're capable of everything we are. Keep the greeters, come on, you know. Walmart actually started making the transition from greeters to hosts back in 2016. A spokesperson says they found different jobs for about 80% of its greeters within their own stores. I feel bad for them. You know, hopefully somebody else will step up and give them a job. Walmart is extending its 60 day transition period for employees with disabilities to help them find another job within the company. A Walmart spokesperson says the company has already made job offers to some folks, including greeters with disabilities, and they plan to keep the momentum going. In Chardon, Taylor DeHaze, News 5.